Dennis O'Brien. Uh, my rank's a little complicated, but when I served in the Navy, uh, I was a torpedo in third class, uh, submarine qualified USS Bank. We, we've been to Bermuda a few times. We partook in springboard operations. Uh, <clears throat> St. Thomas, Puerto Rico. Uh, and we really, we just go down there and do exercises with other ships. Uh, that we, they would try and find us, and, and thank God they had a hard time finding us. Uh, and I remember one time we had to send up a red flare, and I was in the after torpedo room. So, so they wanted to see where we were because they couldn't find us. And the flare went up and landed on the deck of an aircraft carrier. So we were right <laughs> under them. <clears throat> uh, we went to the Mediterranean. It was really nice. Uh, we had a, a, a very great wardroom, uh, great crew, and, and uh, a couple of times it was uh, flat, the Atlantic was flat. I remember that they would put out the bow planes and we had man overboard drills. It was just an excuse to go for a swim, you know. Uh, and we had barbecues and, and we, we cooked out on deck once or twice and burned steaks in, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, you know. Really neat. Uh, we always had a watch up in the conning tower. We had uh, a machine gun and a rifle up there. Uh, the problem was sharks. And one of our guys <laughs> is swimming, and uh, two funny stories. One of our guys is swimming and sees his blue laundry bag and goes out to grab it. It was a Portuguese man of war. So we had to take care of him when we got him aboard. And the first time that I ever swam out in the ocean, I just finished shaving. And man overboard, and off I go and dive off the top of the boat. As soon as it's salt water, you know, you think you know that the ocean is, the beaches are salty? Go out in the ocean. The salt water let my face know that I was alive, because I just finished shaving with a razor, and everything was raw. Ah! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that was a nice part. We did some nice seas then. Uh, we went through the, uh, through Gibraltar, Gibraltar at night, so we didn't get to see the rock. And it was just a, a day in, day out, just do your job, which that's what we, we uh, when we were doing our jobs, we loved it. During that time, my first child was born. On the way there, we had to stop cruising the transatlantic, and we did a grid search uh, of a section of the Atlantic. And uh, to this day, I believe... I asked why are we doing this, and we were told they just wanted more accurate readings of the bottom. I firmly believe, and it's, it's, it's okay to say it now, uh, we were searching for the Scorpion. Uh, we carried the same torpedoes on our boat that the Scorpion had. And, uh, it's believed that the, the battery in the torpedo, the Mach 37, I think, uh, went haywire on the Scorpion. And they couldn't get it out of the ship fast enough. That's why it went down. Uh, that was a little sad, very sad. Could have been us. Uh, we went to the Mediterranean and we had a new captain and his job, he tried to make it a goodwill tour. He did a good job of it, but uh, a lot of spit and polish, which we were or weren't used to. We were really a relaxed atmosphere uh, on a submarine. So we had to get a little more squared away, uniforms a little cleaner appearance a little bit uh, more squared away. It was okay. Uh, <clears throat> we were always, every port we pulled in in the Mediterranean, we had, we were visiting ship for, for Spain, for France, for Greece, any country we were in. The, the people, the locals were always welcome to come to our the tour. So I enjoyed that. Uh, I'm of Spanish descent, so when I was in Spain, uh, <laughs> I got to be the tour guide and all the people coming through. I had enough spent. And I was also in Spain helping the our sailors make phone calls to their to their to their wives and friends and family. Uh, when I was ashore, mean uh, being a former policeman, uh, I I was on shore patrol all the time, which which made it interesting also. So, wonderful experience. I got to visit the surface craft ship, one of our own, and on their signal bridge they have a set of binoculars that's about two feet long. And through the binoculars, <laughs> I took a picture with my camera of uh, 
a Soviet ship, but it, it was so far away, the picture came out blurry. We didn't, uh, no contact at all that we knew of with the Soviets. There were things going on. We would have to go certain places just to be there. We don't know why we were there. They would give us coordinates to show up at. Uh, and once, I'm not sure if it was in the Med now or someplace else, we had some SEALs on board with us, about six of them. Took good care of them, fed them and, and everything else. And I can't tell you where we were, but they went out the forward battery, the forward torpedo room hatch. We were, we were at a depth, a shallow depth, maybe 20, 30 feet. They sent the raft up through the hatch. Next thing you know, they went up through the hatch and we left. It may have just been an exercise, a practice thing, or it may have been a real thing they were on. So, uh, it's, uh, it's interesting, and, and at the same time, you don't know what you're doing or why you're going there.